Today I am working with the Tim Holtz Ideology Christmas 2020 line. I have the paper and the ephemera. I used an etc board in a size 8 tag and that is a piece of Bristol board that I covered it with. So just thick white paper and just trace out the etc tag. I chose a piece of plaid paper from his mini Christmas stash. I think that's what he calls the paper pad. And all of the items I picked up from Stampers Anonymous. They had everything in stock, including his Distress Texture Paste. So they had that in stock because you'll see mine's getting low. Look at the reverse side of that paper. Is that not gorgeous? The paper is so pretty, you get two sheets of each style, and which is good because then you really don't have to make the hard choices if you only had one piece. So just trim it. It does not need to be perfect. And because if you are going to go around the edges with anything, texture paste, paint, ribbon, it you'll cover up the edges and any imperfections won't be seen, especially if you use glitter. So I used my... Dina Wakely collage medium. You could use any glue. That's what I had handy. So that's what I used. And to get a nice um, good adherence, I just used a brayer over top. So just trim off anything that hangs over. That that etc tag will help guide your scissors. So even if you you could just glue the piece of paper down and then trim around it. Place your your piece down. I got a little extra glue in that tag hole area. And clean it up. And you could leave the glue. It would just add texture. You wouldn't even need to clean it up. I chose the Santa. And what I did was I picked my favorite large piece of ephemera. Then I picked out two pieces of kind of medium ephemera that I really liked. That circle actually has wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And this tag is kind of meant to be a replacement for a Christmas card for someone. So instead of just doing a card, I'm going to hand deliver the tag. Probably have to do one of the drop off on the front porch and run because no one wants to be around anybody right now. I chose the calendar because I thought it was perfect that it had December 24th and 25th on there. I wanted to make sure that showed. But the special delivery, I wind up not being able to use that. I was going to initially place his feet on that. But in order to get the Christmas saying completely in, I had to use something else. So I wind up using washi tape, which I put on Bristol board. And that is a Spellbinders washi tape that I recently purchased from their, it was pre-Black Friday sale. So, and I, I wanted to use his tape that I just purchased, um, his fabric tape. But it, I don't know, I thought the red just kind of red at the top, red at the bottom. I just thought that kind of pulled it all together. So he comes together so easily. I wanted his Santa bag to have more stuff billowing out, so I chose the stocking from the ephemera. And I didn't need the entire stocking. I really just needed all the goodies that were coming out, so I will trim that, and then I can save the stocking for another project. I can, I can either situate it in a way that I don't need stuff coming out or I can maybe fashion a little, you know, a little poof up top for it. So this tag came together very easily. I I did, I do something sometimes when I'm going to make a tag, like an et cetera board tag, I feel like it, it's a little more pressure. See there I trim the stocking. It's not like just a paper tag. So I will warm up with a paper tag, maybe a card. And that's what I did. I did a paper tag and then I did actually two cards and I will show them later just to kind of, you know, kind of get, 
your ideas moving and get you in that ephemera paper pack. Sometimes I have an idea of exactly what I want to do and I don't have to like play around and and create but this day this was I worked on this Sunday and I just I wanted to make sure it was good and I think I put a little too much pressure on myself so I just had to get warmed up So I like to keep a paper towel handy and clean up my little messes, but the glue will dry matte and clear. So I glue Santa down. I don't completely glue his head down, but I, I wanted to make sure that when the circle went down, I had the hole punched in it so the ribbon could go through it. And so I glue Santa first and kind, kind of washi tape him down so he won't move. And I wanted the candy cane hanging over so that it would kind of be in the snow area with the distress texture paste. So it was really simple, just flip it over once it's lined up, make your hole and then gently pull it off because there was glue on Santa's head. And hole punch it, pop it back down, it is perfectly lined up, how simple is that? get my glue on it, and then re-glue Santa's head. And I mean, at this point, your tag could be done. Something that I kind of wish I had have done was after I was looking at it yesterday and taking pictures, I thought it would have been pretty to have, before I put Santa down, to have flipped some um, diluted white paint and had snow on it. I thought that would have been very pretty. So when I make my next one with my next Santa, I will do that. I probably won't make another video just because I feel like I'm bombarding you guys with these etc. tags. But I, I really wanted people to see just how easy they are. And if you do one, it's like, well, that looked easy. But if you do, you know, a few, you can say, well, that does kind of look easy. Let me try that. The hardest part is picking out your paper, and once you get the etc. tag covered, I don't know, it's just smooth sailing from there. Because I guess you have your ideas going. So, super sped this up so you could see me put the snow on it with the texture paste, but you don't need to waste time. We're busy, we need to get things moving, right? so simple it makes such a difference to edge it with something and then I leave it to dry simple as that I'm back so I just let it dry overnight it doesn't take that long to dry but I <clears throat> I I take like 15 minute intervals with these when I work on them so it winds up, sometimes I just come back the next day. So I put some stickles on it because I wanted glitter, but I also wanted glue because I really wanted to add his Distress Rock Candy glitter. I really wanted this snow glittery because nothing on him is glittery. And I, <clears throat> I wind up putting stickles where the snow is on the piece of ephemera where his feet are, and it really looks pretty. You cannot see um, as much of the detail as, you know, as if you have it in your hands, but it, it really kind of makes the snow more subtle and blend in with that texture paste. So, so easy, just smooth it around with a paintbrush and you can see that I am not being careful. I'm actually kind of going over the edges and rubbing it off with my fingers and, and I kind of wanted it to be um, a little on the messy side so that when the glitter went down, it wouldn't be so precise. It would be, you know, very scattered like snow. That's why little paint drops would have been nice in the background. But I don't typically reach for my paint to do little, little splatters, but I think for when you're doing snow, that's a nice touch. 
I use some of those little confetti pieces of snow instead. Like it just didn't occur to me to do that. And a stencil would have been nice too in the areas that you just see the paper. That would have been nice. So I really got his feet glittered. Well, the snow around his feet. And then the little candy cane washi tape looks like he's walking down candy cane lane. So that's it. He's done. And I will clean up my glitter over my trash can so I don't spill it on my table. And we're back. I maybe let that dry maybe two hours. I was like doing laundry and stuff. There's the, it's American Craft and it's resin art. And I got it from scrapbook.com. It's a three pack. So I just put three little snowflakes up top there and then two beside him. And it was just, it just kind of broke up that space right there. So adorable. And the card sitting next to him is kind of what I was working on just because I wanted to work with the paper and the paper pad. And I just kind of wanted to get my ideas moving because I didn't have an idea for this yet other than I thought I wanted to use a Santa. So that Santa's so good you don't need to add much to it. But I wasn't sure what kind of color scheme I wanted to go with. And it helped. It helped to kind of play in the stuff. And I, in my goal to get all my dyes used, if I've bought them, I need to use them. If I'm going to buy them, I have to use them, that type of thing. The tree and the deer, I had never used before. I had to cut them open. And I used the paper stash. And that's the snowflake paper behind him. That's the fabric tape underneath him. And then a little strip of green glitter. Those are the two dyes. They're Biggs dyes. And the reindeer's an older one. The new one, he's kind of jumping, and I have that one. This, that is the worn, the worn wallpaper, and I was so regretting not purchasing the candle bigs dye. I thought, could I make a candle? Because there's three different styles of candle paper. And easy as that, I use those three banner dies, and then on the back of my glitter paper, I just drew a little, little flame and everything, I popped the candles and the flames up on um, double-sided sticky. See, there's the warm wallpaper. And it it's just, it, it is thick, nice paper. And that was just a little challenge I gave myself. Can you make candles? And I did, and I'm happy with it. And I'll probably put a little greenery underneath that saying. And the card will be done. And the tag, I started with the tag, excuse the phone ringing. I started with the tag and I absolutely love this and I love this paper. Uh, it is so gorgeous and I will wind up showing that paper, like the full piece of paper. My scraps are kind of on top of it. And I used that winter foliage look and I used the snowflakes and I put a few little rhinestones on top of the snowflakes and I used one of his little holiday cards and that is the lamp post. I had to cut that open. I'd never used that. Put a little glitter in the lamp post and those are the little holiday cards I used. Never open. <laughs> and this is the year of using everything. It's nice to have the time to get everything out. And I, it just turned out so easy. I used his um, fabric tape and that's, that is down at the very bottom, a little strip of that snowflake paper. And I did glue the paper to a piece of Bristol board so I could write on the back of the tag. I used his velvet trim. I used a little piece of black twine. And that one, may get put on an ephemera, not an ephemera, an et cetera tag, because I love it so much.
and of the candy cane stripe above season and below season is just that washi tape on a piece of white paper just trimmed so the washi tape pops and you really see the candy cane. So here I just thought, well, people might want to see a quick flip through while I'm waiting for these little snowflakes to dry and just see how pretty this paper really is. See if you want to add it to your collection. Here's where I show this. I just, that might be my favorite piece of paper in the whole pack. And I'm not big on flowers and things, but I love that paper. I think the colors are just gorgeous. And that's the plaid from the paper pack. Just keep all my scraps together. And this is new. This is my, I'm so happy I have this die. It came in the mail yesterday. So exciting. So I let everything dry, came back, chose my ribbon. And you see how I bump and hit. And <laughs> you really don't have to be that careful with these things. <laughs> so I go with, I almost went with the silver, but I decided to go with the green. Isn't that pretty? so pretty and just twist that kind of tight so I can fit it through that small little opening and pull it through and I try to be gentle because of the snow I don't want to break the snow and I think that's it and it is ready to be gifted and I hope the recipient likes it because I am thrilled with it. So I hope this encourages you guys to get out your stash and start playing around and have a very happy holiday. Thanks for watching.